make it to the semifinals. Nauna na ang Binyan, nauna na ang San Juan, and just earlier, Nueva Ecija punching against Minerva. Spins to the baseline, able to finish. Opening the festivities is Gabi Espinas. And uh, nga, less than 24 hours removed from that previous matchup, you can argue that the Supremos, that would be it for your PSL season. As Paul Sanga also showing no ill effects. Surprised that some players would relish that as Fuentes finds Minerva underneath for the first two of Quezon. Itong si uh, Minerva. It's 6-2 to two in favor of Caloocan as Fuentes. Rims it down to a one-point advantage, 6-5. to five. Spinas making a move strong to the left side. And alam mo naman paborito ni Gabi Espinas. That's something you want to see for Caloocan, no? From your veterans. Gravera gets that three-pointer to go. Five straight points. Para kay Gravera, tabla tayo at 10. Time. Cervantes, he will try. Gets that three to go. And uh, siya yung three-pointer niya last night was the one that uh, got it to the second overtime. Has Espinas with him. Pasang-pasa, ni Cannon. Torres for three. Gets that one to go. 17 to 15 now. Back to a two-point lead for the Titans. So three seconds. Cervantes straight away. Gets another three. Flashing the Supremos jersey. Real Cervantes. Madapit showing up. Early in this do or die ball game. And let nga, hindi naman nagkakalayo in terms of uh, our score so far. Ooh, tama naman yung lipat dun. Rodel Gravera. Na, alam mo nga uh, may babawin to si Rodel Gravera. Just bit yung bola, one-hander. Bibit bitin naman uh, the other player we were highlighting during the pregame, first time in this ball game. And Torres makes a move inside to Gozum, able to finish over the Spina. Great execution on that two-man game, Thomas Torres. Goes to Abundo. Fuentes head fake, three-pointer. Ganda naman patience from Judel Fuentes, able to hit that three. The Fuentes, a master of those ball fakes. You don't have to be uh, really stand out, you know, it's uh, equal contribution for everyone. Tied once again, this time at 26. So Moda, the big man of the Supremos, nagpapaulan dito sa Piloel Eco Oil Center. And he's hitting uh, init lang. Puputok na itong si Jerem Ricabanag. It's eight to shoot. Turn around for Palencia. Beautiful looking shot. Tough shot para dito kaya Irvin Palencia. Half Pulling up. Can't get that to go, but Cervantes will get that to trickle in. Real Cervantes really breathing life here. This is the importance of not giving up on a play, no? Jeremy Cabana got challenged by that shot there, but Real Cervantes fighting for a second chance opportunity. From that double overtime victory, Fuentes loses that basketball, a second to shoot. Would have counted, but our first half buzzer sounds. Tamsi. Side to Gozum, mapapayungan ni Espinas, but still able to finish. That time, Will Gozum able to... Uh... Puentes muli. Top of the key. Gets that jumper. Pero talagang bitaw na ito ni Judel Puentes. Oh, that's a shot from si uh, Judel Puentes. Bita yung tong against Puentes. His turn around. Gets that to go. Tough shot. And he has that shot from si uh, Joko Tainitong. Since his college days, ginagawa niya na Lips. Gets it to Abundo. Another corner three. This time, Gravera ang susubok. Hits from that corner. Third time's the charm para dito sa Quezon. Goes to Puentes. Tries for another three. Masyado malakas. Tracks down his own miss. Another. Finally, para kay Judel Puentes. Never gun shy. It's Judel Puentes. He sets the tone. Nakakao play. Palencia and Joel Liu. Kakapasok lang. Connecting. 
Gravera goes to Rivero. Easy lay. And that is the Prince Rivero that I am accustomed to. Lee Yu. Trying to go to this mismatch against uh, Lagrama. Masyado malakas, but Cervantes there for the cleanup job. Phil Cervantes once again. Punta kay Gozo. Wide open for three. Sabi ko lang, Melo, eh, na yung free throws kanina. Kompiyansa para kay Will Gozom. It's two seconds now. Nice fake, but there was the help defense from Sandagon. Still a second remaining. Tamsi gets it to Gozom. As time runs out. Take advantage. Kabanag to Barakael. Gets the bump and the finish. And that's the inside game that Kalohan has been looking for. As we take a look at this, Cabana drive, finding Mac Barakel underneath. Look at that patience from Mac. Three fouls of his own. Inside to Espinas. Nice hand, si Ganon. Perfectly timed, high low play. Into San Juan. Tamsi makes a move. Goes inside. Sandagon is blocked. Gets it to Gonzalez. Hindi nila kailangan magmadali dito. The shot clock did reset. But Tamsi says no problem. Gets that three-pointer from the corner. Gets it to Gonzalez. Attacks the lane for the finger roll. Once again, LJ Gonzalez using his speed. So take another look at that move from LJ Gonzalez. Sanga nursing those four fouls. Wala na nga, pinanood na lang. Ang galaw na yun, ni LJ. Next to his name so far, pero yung uh, key baskets, yung, kung, yung timing, kung kailan po mapasok. Speaking of timing, tayo. Off. Talahat fighting for it. Gives them another opportunity. Sanga once again will be clipped by Sandagon. Bakit <laughs> parang... <laughs> Asanga, ang bibigay sa kanya, has been nursing those four fouls. Pero parang hindi mo rin talaga afford na si Paul. Three out of three for Paul Sanga. Siya na rin magbababa. Bounces it to Minerva. Attacks the lane strong and able to finish. Plus the foul. Minerva finally to see him score his first basket here in the game. End one pa ang naibigay sa kanya. His shot short. Minerva gets a rebound. Hounded by two white shirts. Mm. Minerva calmly for the Titans. Gets the second as well. Shot clock is off. Four seconds. Tayong Tong. A second remaining. Won't be able to hit that three. And time will run out. The Titans will hold on with a two-point victory.